Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do a rotation. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that your settings are set up correctly. So you're going to press menu and go to settings. And we want to verify that the graphing and geometry angle are both on degrees. If they're not already on degrees, they're on radians. You want to switch them to degrees, both to degrees, and click make default and say OK. OK, so now we're going to do a rotation. Um, the default is going to be counterclockwise. So all of the rotations it's going to be, perform are going to be counterclockwise. If you want to do a clockwise rotation, you would need to subtract the number of degrees from 360. Um, OK, so here we go. We're going to go to Menu, Geometry, Transformation, and choose Rotation. And again, if you ever forget how to do a rotation, you're just going to hover over this button and it tells us to click the object and then the rotation point and then the coordinates. So here we go. We're going to click our object, which is a triangle, and now all of our rotations are going to be around the origin. So we're going to click the origin and then we're just going to type in the number of degrees. So if I want to do a 90 degree rotation, I would just type in 90 and press enter. Okay, let's try another one. I'm just going to press Control Z to undo that. Again, I'm going to go to Geometry, Transformation, Rotation, and then I'm going to click the object, click the point, and then this time maybe I want to do 180. Do another one, click the object, click the point, type in 270, and then I can even rotate it all the way around. Click the object, click the point. If I were to type into 360, it should end up exactly where we started from. And that's it.